Can I hold it up a little bit so it gets air? Yeah. And I wouldn't pour it fast, just pour it slow. You got it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're not those guys that spill them everywhere. Just have my back if there's a wasp by me. No. <laughs> right there. <laughs> We, got, we did some drone shots yesterday at the park. Oh I'll, yeah, I want to see that I'll one. throw them right there. that. Tootsie, what are you doing? You ain't helping your dad. Where is Tootsie? Where's she at? Coming to the spotlight. Tootsie! Tootsie. Tootsie. Kind of oh, there she is. She's not right here. So no, it does Don't drink that. Right at you. To... Tootsie's like, what is that? Yeah, it's, it's flimsy. I love how when I set up the camera, Nova will walk on over like... Why are you doing this? You want to say hi to camera, Nova? Say hi. Good. Say hi. Say hi to camera. Oh, look. Look at that. Pouring oil, Nova. Say hi to camera, mister. That's dirty. Come on. Say hi. That's a lot of highway miles. That's good. Yeah, that's all it is. Really. Huh? That quarter is what? Thursday? That extra quart? So five quarts we'll probably have his coolant line video soon. Yeah, that's a coolant. Yeah. Did you do a video on his uh, um, air diffuser? No. Look at this car. Damn! Look at them crayons. They're looking good. Look at his diffusers, though. And the board at, when you're sitting behind it, look, you can see right through there. Look at these. You know we had to do it. Not three, not four. We got six. Look at mine. Bam! We got six. Did mine too. Look, look at this. I didn't even record that yet. 
cleaned it up too. Bam. Anyway. We're about done. I think that low there's a lot of pressure in there. Right. That's good. <laughs> it's not bone dry, it's fine. Uh shoot, I didn't even show you guys. Out, yeah, that's where the oil filter is. <laughs> Some guy used a specialty tool, all we used was a crescent wrench. Specialty socket. Specialty socket? Mm hmm. Hey. Did you guys use, you guys use, the, Mag use the Meguiars up here? Yeah. Well, no, we painted it. Why is it all chipped already? Highway miles. Highway miles. Shit. Oh, I didn't even say though. Check it out, boy. Dang. Sam's got these Explode Sony 12s. And we're going to go to Walmart today, probably. Walmart or check out a pawn shop nearby. And we're going to hook this baby up. All right, guys. S Sam's Pontiac's about to get the bumping on a budget. <laughs> We've seen some guy name it that. So we got the Scotia wiring kit, stereo kit, and uh, we grabbed two of these harnesses because they're different, and we don't know which one exactly goes to it. So we'll let you guys know. That'll be nice. Anyone else there out there with the Pontiac G6? <sighs> my bad. My I had a bunch of drool in my mouth. Anyone out there with the Pontiac G6? We'll let you know by the end of this what you need. But till the end. Pop this hood and let's get started. There's only one wire. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say was the ghetto setup? <laughs> hey, I've seen worse. Woo! At least you got the carpet on your box. I'm sure we could go to like, we'll find like a, over time, you know, we'll find the cut plastic thing that screws in there. Yeah. And then we'll just seal it. And then it'll be booming a little better, but shit, we're all right. Other ports. <laughs> yeah, they're ported. That's what it is. All right, Tootsie, this is what we're doing, girl. Yeah, because I got one wire. Oh, that's fine. The other one. These guys will go into our amp. Ooh, Tootsie's starting another hole. Dig, dig, Tootsie, dig. Get it, get it, girl, get it. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. He's just we're checking out his sub real quick. I mean, it's, it's gonna be booming. So, uh, now. Uh, what I was going to say is batteries on his driver's side. Um, what was I going to say? Dang! This might be a little harder than mine because rubber grommets are easy, but I guarantee you maybe this one will go through to the driver's side. But you know me, I'm going to do it, then I'm going to tell y'all how I did it because that's simpler than doing recording everything. Tootsie, you still getting that hole? Oh, you down to the brick, girl? Calm down, you're gonna hurt yourself. Ah! She's digging around it. All right, guys. <laughs> when you look under here, there's a tray in the way. And it, you gotta do two eight millimeter bolts. Oh, and once yeah. you get those out, or actually they're seven millimeters. Oh, so you have to get the other one. Yeah, and then uh, you see where the wire's going? Yeah. Look, you can look in the hood, Shindella, you can see it coming out. But, I'm just showing the camera. Uh, I had a cut. There's like a round spot right there. You can see the hump on top. But, I used my Zacta knife. And if you look in there, you know you got into the right spot because you can see the wiring, all those different colors back there. The wiring harness is right there, and then you can see the rubber grommet. All I did was make a slit with the X-Acto knife. And you can use a wire hanger or just some stiff wire. Yeah. And that's how I got through. And then you look up here. It's coming out from behind the ABS. ABS or power steering, I don't know. Usually when it's oh, got yeah. those lines, it's power steering. Well, I gotta record faster because I'm running out of space. I just yanked this guy all the way up so I could pull it past these tabs. And uh, to pop this guy out, you gotta pull him towards you and then pop this bottom clip out. That's it. All right, guys, so we got that all in. 
I just ran the positive wire on that side. I think I'm going to have the coaxial cords and the power wire go down this side. But uh, in order to get this radio out so I could put in a different radio for him, we got this light up one. And hopefully the tray fits in there perfectly. But uh, yeah, to get to it, you got to pop this side off. So you got one, two, three, four clips. Literally just pops out of there. And then you could get the glove box. And when you open it, squeeze the sides. Ugh. Ugh. Squeeze the sides in so you could lower it. And then that gives you access to these screws. You gotta remove these screws right here. Alright guys, now when you're doing this to leave that little latch on, you just need to get the center screw. And then you gotta pop this side piece off so you can get this screw and that screw. And before you do that, and before you get the screws up here, I should have said uh, you wanna lift the glove box up and you can see right there. There's going to be a one, two, three screw-in points. They're all seven millimeters. And once you get this disconnected, there's a clip right here that uh, you're going to want to use some needle nose to squeeze both sides and it'll pop right out without you breaking them. I don't know if I already said it yet, but you remove these two screws and then there's going to be a those two screws in the beginning to remove that first plate and then there's one more seven millimeter over here and, uh, we're getting closer guys uh, you could pop this off if you really want to so it's not dangling but this plastic ain't too heavy so it's I ain't worried about it I'm let it rest on the gas pedal a little no the brake pedal I mean. and that's just the OBD port uh, and I'll show you what's next so we can get this radio out. Alright y'all, hopefully that's a good angle. I'm going to try to record this for you. So I pulled right under here. You could use a flathead to help you out a little bit. But uh, here we go. I'm going to use my hands. Let's just stay just like that. She came right out and it looks like there's a clip down here on the side on both edges on both sides there's a clip towards the bottom and then there's the two clips right here you can see them all right there there's the other clip I was talking about but look at that comes right out and uh, half the time you're gonna need your uh, key so you can shift it out of gear and probably pull it out but let me see look at that I just slid it up and was able to get it just unclip your hazards and then you'll be able to set this guy out the way it was a lot simpler than I thought it'd be guys so again I mean even though you gotta take the glove box out it's just a bunch of seven millimeter bolts and I'll go over it one more time when I'm done with this alright guys summarize it there's about four seven millimeters in the bottom two on this side about four on this side as well and then two on the edge and then when you're getting this guy I was like I can't figure this out look at it there's a clip and you pull this part up right here Whew. that's pretty hard pull this up and come right out now I can set this guy out here out of our way make sure it don't fall over because Sam's cars stuff all looks real nice and we're gonna keep it that way all right guys so the one I had that I pulled out it works but I don't know what these uh, two wires do so I'm gonna have to check that out and make sure we don't need this guy probably just needed it for a uh, I'd say uh, something that has to do with the radio. The radio probably shows something on it. But, um, yeah. I'm going to figure it out and then I'll let y'all know. But so far, this is looking like the one to use. Even though it says just Pontiac, Montana, and Vibe back there. 
it connected. The gray version. All right, guys. Now here's the fun part: matching every wire up with the same colored wire. And I'll show once I'm done with that. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna use these axe wire nuts, the small versions, make it easier. And it's because I want to put this together real quick and then turn the key and see if the radio will turn on and make sure the speakers are working. Alright guys, check it out. Uh, the screw that goes up here is also a 7mm, but after I slide that up, I'm able to pull this out, set it on the seat. Check this out guys. Uh, I ran the remote wire. I lightly tied it there so it doesn't get pulled. And it's so easy, look at this. This is the easiest set wire hiding I've ever done in any car, and it's this Pontiac. But yeah, this carpet was so easy to pull back, and then I'm lining it, making it go through here with the other wire harness, because why not? It's going good. Just gotta finish putting it through here, and then I could go up and under the seat, and you can see this hole right here. That's where it's gonna be coming out. Power wire is good. Uh, Harness is wired up. We just need this and the coaxials going through there. Alright, y'all. This guy's looking like the right harness. Uh, I noticed on the factory one, more of the wires are up top than they are on the bottom. And shoot, AutoZone says this is the right one. <laughs> We're going out on a limb here. Like we did right here. This limb has failed us. <laughs> Alright guys, we had a problem at first. Uh, the harness that we got didn't come with a red wire. Well, the red wire is an ignition wire. So, took our, our test light, grounded it out, and uh, looked for a fuse that wasn't lighting up. And then I had Sam turn the ignition on and then it lit up on both the silver tabs and for us that's the uh, HVAC control I believe it is oh I'm looking at these upside down I wonder why I can't read them anyway, that's what we did and now we're gonna figure out how we're gonna use this single din mounting tabs to mount here. We'll see. Alright guys, we got the radio working and uh, we got it looking like this because we got to go run over to O'Reilly's and see if they got the actual single din. But till then, we said let's start hooking up the amp and the sub. So we screwed it into the box right in the middle because it's got a light on it. So yeah, I got the coaxials coming underneath. And this puppy's all down. Just make my camera. This puppy's all app controlled. I think I said that earlier. Uh, and yeah, so right now I'm using the amps wiring kit stuff to put these spade terminals on. Oh, wait a minute. I don't need spade terminals. I could just thread them in there and then clamp it. Cool, because they're round. All right. Might be going back for the 1200 watt. <laughs> yeah, it is in Spanish. Level. That's what it means. Level. <laughs> <laughs> Nivel? Yeah. Wanna pop your chunk again? Well, it's working. That's for sure. Well, they're working, but like we, I said, we need, probably do need a bigger amp. <laughs> All right, y'all. Next day, kind of late in the afternoon. Lever is here again, but we got him in the back. And got they're, the right. They're at warehouse on a Sunday. <laughs> yeah. Went to the get the right uh, brackets and stereo kit and it's silver. Oh, well, I see now. Just to match this silver. But yeah, I was all like, how the heck am I going to mount these side brackets onto here? And as far as I could get through all this is I pulled the trim off and I got these on. 
and they're supposed to like snap into place right here. Alright y'all, here's a better look. And this is a lot nicer. Just way bigger pocket for him. I mean, now we know we could go to O'Reilly's for some automotive plastic. I didn't know you could. I didn't think an auto parts store would have anything. Yeah. So, I'm finishing styling. Alright. So I got the e-brake on while I'm doing this, putting it in neutral. Uh, oh. Almost trapped it. But, uh, yeah, now I'm putting this in. I need to put the hazards clip on. On the hazards button. Progress, progress. Oh shit, oh shit. Pop in the top before you pop in the bottom. Alright y'all, I don't know where I left off, but you want to clip in the top before you clip in the bottom. And that is sweet. And uh, I can try cleaning the dust out of a CD tray for him. And even inside here, there's a bunch of dirt in there. I got some of it out. A little swab. Uh, I'm gonna start putting his dash together so he can drive this puppy again. Let's get to it. And uh, I'm gonna start on the driver's side since I'm over here. And the driver's side is just uh, four bolts. Four screws, bolts? Yeah. They're really screws, but the tops look like uh, bolts. Alright, let's just do it. Everything's back together. Uh, casualty, I broke his hood latch, but his hood still can pop open, so I'm gonna fix it tomorrow. <laughs> He's gotta work tomorrow. But, uh, yeah. She's sounding good. You wanna turn it up a little? How does it sound? Come see it. <laughs> 